You guys doing sober January? Yep. Okay. I gotta be careful about drinking. I'll, I'll, cause I'll drink every night if left to my own devices. And, uh, but you two. And uh, so one time, me and my boyfriend, we made this bet that I couldn't go six months without a drink of alcohol. And we bet sex things, cause we're adults and we're poor. And, <laughs> and I told Tom, I was like, okay, if I drink within six months. I'll do whatever you want, you think about it. He didn't even have to think about it. He was just like, if you drink within six months, I get to have anal sex with you. That's what he bet, because he's a man and he's original. <laughs> he could have had anything, anything. And he bet anal? First of all, he didn't have to bet that. He could have just asked. <laughs> I'm not fussy. That's what he bet. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And he was like, well, what do you want if you make it six months without drinking? And I thought about it, and you know, I'm a modern woman, and two can play at this game. <laughs> that is an applause break started by women and reluctantly joined in by men. <laughs> You're right, that's what I said. I said, if I make it six months without a drink of alcohol, then you have to buy me an apparatus. <laughs> and I get to fuck you in the butt. <laughs> and we shook on it. It was a gentleman's agreement and we went through those six months. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever gone six months without drinking, but because we are in Liverpool, I'm going to assume no. <laughs> it is very hard to do. Damn near impossible. This is my full-time job. I'm in a bar every night, travel up and down the country. God bless you English people. I love living among you, but when you meet someone who doesn't drink, you don't trust them. It's hard to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly impossible to go six months without drinking, doing what I do. Dare I say it is impossible, but I fucking won the bet. <laughs> oh, I won it so hard. <laughs> And Tommy stuck to his guns. He bought me the apparatus, and I was like, oh, dream realized. And, uh, and, and now, ladies, I don't know if any of you in here have ever worn a strap on. If you haven't, go home, try it tonight. It is very empowering. Like, I put it on, and immediately I was like, I'm gonna be president. It's great. It's the best. But you know, I put it on. I put, you know, I had it on, and Tom just kind of goes, okay. <laughs> I'm ready. And I was like, no, on your back, knees up, motherfucker, eye contact. Because he's my beloved and I want to look at him. So I was, like, I was really in there, you know? But I was looking at him. But I was like, in there! But I was looking at him. I mean, do you understand? I was in there! But I was looking at him! And that's when I whispered in his ear, I've been drinking the whole time. 